can't remove it, don't worry. We'll come back at the end and touch up our black out outline. This one I didn't get quite of an inch. So we'll go back and make it a little bit wider. Yeah. <clears throat> We're going to give him his eyeliner about a half inch below his eye. Then we're going to curve off that. And at the bottom, we're going to make a little bit rounded in, like it's kind of framing his face. We'll go around the edge of his ear. Like I said, when you see spots you need to fill in, just fill them in as you go. Just going to add little, very broad, relaxed strokes between some of the ear. Things. We're going to come back and, you know, really fine tune shade there. Okay, now we're going to morph that into a darker color. We're going to take a little bit, a little dab of our brown and bring it right into our tan. Color. We still want it to be kind of like a dark tan versus a brown. So it have a little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange, so that it blends really nicely. And then we're going to go and find some of our dark shading spots. So We've got kind of a dark line on the outside of his white stripe. We've got a little bit of darks around his eye, below his ear, the bottom of his ears, below his ear, below his eye. <clears throat> and he's got a really nice brown eye but we'll make a little bit of a different color for that. So I'm gonna pull in a little bit more orange too to make this kind of a really auburny brown. Tan, dark tan. Okay, then we are going to make this kind of outline the edge of that with the tip of our brush and then pull a feathered line in. I'm going to do it on the other side as well. And this one, I didn't get a very good curve, so I'm going to curve it up at the top and then feather it on in. And I'm going to fill that in with white at the end. Well, 
we got this really pretty auburn. We're going to go in and fill in the bottom of his eye. Just taking the tip of our brush. Going to give him his nice, cute brown eyes. Just following the outside of the circle. You can fill in the entire bottom with brown because inside your eyes, there's actually no true white. So we're gonna come in with our off white that we make for the inside of his face, inside the eye a little bit because that's what's really, what the real color is in there. So now we're gonna go to the bottom of the ears. Just make some nice lines along the bottom of his ears certain spots, the bottom of the ear canal, you make a nice shadow. Kind of lining all the way down about a half inch in, going to make a About a half inch in from the dark line, we're going to make a shadow line that meets his eye. And then goes and meets the bottom of his ear canal. So for this one, we're just using some pressure and dabbing the brush along the canvas. We're gonna come up above his eye, make a little bit of a feathered line in. It's not touching the eye, it's about a quarter of an inch away from the eye. And then we're gonna give him a very thin, using the edge of our paintbrush, we're gonna give him a thin line of eyeliner below. Because below your eye there is a little bit of shadow and up above at the top too. Go to the other side. So we feather that color in. You can use your hand, finger too to like push some of the ex excess color that's there around. Make a really nice blended look. Then come below his ear canal as well. And up above his ear canal, this side, making a nice feathered stroke. bottom of his ear. Then I'm going to come to the end of the black and make a kind of feathered in. A little bit of shading. The edge of the black. Then it's the same thing. We're going to leave about a half inch in between the black line and our dark shading lines. It's going to meet the outside. One little line swipe is going to meet the outside shading line. Then coming in from that, about a half inch in between, one little dark line.
And as we're making these, we can just kind of dab our brush on the board and kind of get it just a nice little line. And again, a little bit of eyeliner on the outside under edge. Little line there. Then we're gonna bring in a little more tan into this. And make it really like a dark tan. Less orange, more tan, a little bit of brown, a little bit of yellow. My kids are having so much fun outside. I hope you guys get to get outside during this quarantine too. Okay, so then we're gonna come from that dark, we're just gonna blend it into our lighter colors. So kind of, just kind of dabbing the brush around, then possibly taking your finger, dabbing it on there as well to make a really nice blend. into your original color. He looks a little bit angry right now, but once we finish his eyes, he's gonna be a very happy dog. Pongo, you're gonna be so cute and happy. I just know it. So you're just going to the outside of all your darks I'm just doing a nice little blend into the lights. And, and it's usually at the edge of the feather on the, on like these kind of strokes. This side can be dark, but on the edge, we're gonna make it a little bit lighter and blend into our colors really nicely. I want this one, I'm gonna to come to the bottom of it because I want it to just really nicely blend into this side of his face. And go over to the other side and do the other thing. And I'm gonna feather off just slightly onto my black line so it looks really nice. Let's get this really nice fur look. I'm gonna come on the inside too. And just go wherever those darks are. I'm gonna stay above these ones. A little bit below his eye. Just kind of blend that a little bit more. And I'm gonna make a nice feather edge for our beautiful fur that we're making. And then over here, below the dark, I'm gonna make about a half inch wide actual dabbing of this color. And then I'm gonna make this dark line meet the eye with this lighter color below it. Now we're gonna do take that tan 
right on the edge of the line where we made that curve, the top of his cheeks. We're gonna bring some darker tan there as well. We're going to make a nice highlight yellow. This is going to be a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, and some off white if you have it. I'm going to use a little bit of tan because I didn't grab the off white. And so right at the edge of where you made, you go dark, you've got your dark, you've got your tan color. We're gonna make a nice highlight in between there, just dabbing the brush. We can use our finger to kind of blend it if desired. Kind of dab it on there. Then diagonal to his smile, it's kind of like outlining his mouth. I'm gonna make one that goes up to the fur and meets the fur. Does about an inch above the bottom of the canvas is where it's gonna start. Right on the outside of your Pac-Man mouth, you're gonna make a little highlight. The bottom of his fur. Make one on the other side. So we've got our dark, our tans. We're gonna make a little highlight going above his eye. And right below his ear, we're gonna make a little highlight. And right in between the dark and the tan, we're gonna make a little highlight. I got a little too much color there. So I'm gonna take that with my finger and move the color into his ear for some highlights. Because he's got some, so sometimes the white, the light touches right on the dark. And it makes this really gorgeous contrast. This sharp, sharp, beautiful contrast makes you appreciate lighting. Got a highlight right there on the edge of his face. Pongo's so happy to be getting some highlights and a little bit of sun. Just like my daughter, so happy to be outside. She loves it. We love when the weather gets nice here. This one, we're gonna like really blend that because I want it to be, still have that good orange color showing through. Okay, then we're gonna, that's it. all we're gonna use our yellow highlight for. And we're going to make a gray. So you're just gonna take just a a tiny dot of the black and mix it with one side of your white. Seriously, it's gotta be the tiniest bit because the black is so bossy. 
it is the strongest of all the colors so if you let it it will be in charge so it's got to be so so tiny of a dot and then we're going to fill in the white of his face so i got a little bit too much black so i'm going to get some more white and mix that in with my gray as i go so as you're shading you just find and I'm going to do a feathered edge up onto that black line. You just keep adding the color that you need until you get the color you desire. So I've got a really dark gray here on my brush. I'm just going to keep trying to get rid of that gray, maybe even wipe some on my paper towel, and then keep bringing in the white. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to basically outline all of the black lines I made in this very light, light gray. It's okay if it's not all the same color. It gives it a lot of good depth when there's varying tones. It's going to be the darkest gray at the top of the nose below the nose and right along the mouth. We're going to leave a little line of white at the very bottom of the tongue, but we're going to outline the gray right around our sharp gray. It gives it that sharp contrast, which makes just a beautiful, beautiful composition. Grab some more of my gray. See, mine is really gray right now. I'm going to come back in with some white and lighten that up. Just below your yellow highlight, we've got some very light gray fur as well. We can feather onto the cor corgi's fur. Okay, so I'm washing the gray off my brush because I got so much. I'm just going to take just white and try and do some blending colors here. Try and get what I the colors that I need and want while it's still wet. You can still work with the colors a little bit. The inside there's a highlight right below the dark gray shadow and right above it on his lip. There's a highlight at the top of his cheek that I'm going to make, right below his fur, right at the top of his cheek. I'm going to get that dark gray again, get a nice outline below his nose. We're going to take that gray as well on the inside of the nose. Just fill in all the white. It's going to be Got a sandbox in the back. So we play there all the time. Super fun.
nice gray outline. Then while we've got that gray color too, we're gonna come over, this is a lighter gray. We're gonna come over to the eyes and at the very bottom, add just a little bit of that highlight. Just to the left corner of each eye. Then just with the very tip of your brush, you're gonna make one dot. It's about a quarter inch down from the top, just off the center of the eye going to give a, a dot. Then we're going to just above that one, diagonally above, and then we'll give a second dot. We're going to the other eye, you're finding the center, then you're moving slightly to the left of that center, making a dot, and then diagonally, well, just straight across but side it, a second dot. I'm gonna come in again with the white a little bit more since mine was such a dark gray I made. And that's fine, like it's so much fun to play with whatever you get, the colors and make kind of what you want. Decide, hmm, that's a little bit darker than I was looking for. I'm gonna keep bringing some more white and until I get the color that I was really looking for. And it just gives it more depth as you're playing with colors. I've got one white highlight. I'm going to make it right there. Right there. And now we get to finish with um, the tongue and then the background. I gave a pink color and we're gonna mix the pink with your tan. Sorry, I forgot to grab my pink. Mix the pink with a little bit of tan to make kind of a dusty pink. We're gonna make mix in a little bit of brown too with that to shade the tongue. Make a darker pink. So remember the brown's bossy. So that's gonna be just below the mouth is where the dark for pink will be. The bottom of our tongue is where the highlight's gonna be. It's like the it's peeking out into the sun. So to make the highlight, I'm gonna make mix just the pink and the tan, no brown. Really nice highlight. Okay, now we're going to move finish with the background of our corgi. <clears throat> Look, Pongo's so happy, he loves his life. And, um, and then we'll detail our black lines. So I'm gonna use the green background for this. So as you can see, I've done a blue I've done black polka dots, or I've done a fun leopard. This is where you can personalize your painting to make something that is just unique to you. <clears throat> We're going to 
I can show you first how to make dots. So for this, you just whoop, dropped a little bit of color on my corgi. I have to go back and fix it. Um, you just lay the paintbrush down on the canvas, basically, and maybe turn it. You lay it down and turn it, and you get this varying abstract dot about an inch apart. Makes this really fun design in the background. You can make any color dot you want. Or to fill in, if you want to fill the whole thing in, I recommend to give it a texture like on this blue. I've got this really nice texture. Um, I use a little bit of water with it and just made kind of like a scribble. I didn't do broad flicking strokes. I made like a scribble. I'm going to mix this in with that and you can kind of see. Just a nice scribble. And it gives it like this really textured look. And it adds a little bit more depth, a little bit more going on to your painting than just a, a solid background in the back. Okay, you can either take your Sharpie or your black paint to fill in because especially when you're, um, if you filled in the whole thing, sometimes you get on the black. So you just take the black paint and you fill in, maybe if I got too much blue on the black line or like on the eyes, I got a little bit of white right here. So I'm going to just fill in and make that black line really nice. using very small, precise strokes to make sure that my dark black is exactly what I want it to be. And you have to be careful with the black because this is your finishing touches and it will give you a lot more work have to go back so much. And I kind of lost my black line on his mouth when we brought in the gray. <laughs> there you have it. Make sure to sign your name. You've got your Corgi painting. Thanks for joining today. Have a wonderful rest of your day.